Now, a big contributor to the extreme danger right now, as we've been talking about, our pinpoint weather team is the wind. It also has the potential to cause other problems, too. For a closer look at all of that, let's get to pinpoint weather meteorologist Travis Michaels here in the studio. Bottom line, this could be very bad. Yeah, without a doubt. And we're talking, you know, these blowing dust conditions out across the eastern plains. And, and yes, the wind does blow in Denver, and you see some blust, dust blowing around, but it's not the same kind of dust that we get out on the eastern plains. And let's talk about what blowing dust definitions are. With a blowing dust advisory, it's a localized area that's reduced visibilities between a mile and a quarter of a mile. And then a blowing dust warning is the exact same visibility, but it's widespread. So widespread is a warning, localized is an advisory. And, and we've only had three counties in the last five years that have had blowing dust advisories or alerts across the area. That would be Yuma, Kit Carson, and Cheyenne. And it actually comes out of the, yeah, the, 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 the Kansas National Weather Service office. It's the Goodland area. It's not the Denver one. It's the Goodland one. And because of that, we also got to mention that there's only been in the last five years, nine times we've had advisories and only four times that we've had blowing dust warnings. So they are rare, but how rare are they? Well, we've had some windy conditions for us here across the Eastern Plains in those last five years. Two of the advisories have been just this April. Two, that's half of the warnings in the last five years have been so far this April with the blowing dust. And we expect to see blowing dust as we head through the day tomorrow. We'll have to see if those advisories or warnings are issued, but definitely blowing dust is going to reduce those visibilities and cause issues along I-70. With the Pinpoint Weather Team, I'm meteorologist Travis Michaels.